I'm Courtney with the TV Addict, so I have a couple questions for you now. This is going to be the first time that our viewers slash readers are going to be learning about your show, so can you tell them about the basic premise and what they can expect? Uh, yes, it is a reimagining of the original series of Ironside, which was a eight-year show starting in, I think, 1967. Um, and we have kind of put our imprint on a new sort of contemporized um, reimagination of it. Um, you know, it's Ironside with a brand new team. They all come packing with, you know, really incredibly compelling personal stories. And each week, you know, we will introduce the audience to, you know, a really, uh, you know, juicy case that will also uh, kind of dovetail into some of the personal stories and backstories of Ironside. And what was it about Ironside that you thought made it worthy of coming back to life? No, please. Um, you know, I, I've done this before, you know, with other formats, and I think when you look at something, you think about the, fami the familiarity of the title, you know, perhaps the, you know, an iconic character, and I think in a time where, you know, you're trying to break through the clutter of the thousands of you know, networks that people can go to and channels and platforms to watch, you know, their shows to find an, a, a character that is so unconventional and so worthy and, and, and talked about to help kind of break through the crime genre. We thought what a, what a great opportunity to, you know, take a stab at it and sort of break through that. And now, is this going to be more character driven or is there going to be a lot of involvement of technology and that kind of aspect that you see? Um, I don't think it's going to be technology in the way that you see shows like Person of Interest where, you know, there are all these visual motifs with cameras and computers and all of that. I think this is definitely more human stories, but, um, but as Terry had said, you know, we're, we're solving a case each week and I think one of the premises of the show that, that the writers have done such a great job of executing so far is the idea that in the process of solving these crimes, unlike some other admittedly successful procedural shows, we really are getting informed about who these people are. Um, the use of flashbacks before Ironside was in a wheelchair when he's out with, with Brent, with his partner, uh, you know, running around the streets of New York, they're not gratuitous and they're not exploitative. Um, they really, they, they speak to something that's happening in the contemporary in the contemporary crime, the contemporary setting. And with the cast that you've gotten, it's pretty, pretty amazing cast. Have you been happy with the way things have come together? Oh, beyond, beyond. beyond. They are awesome. I mean, it really, um, I really believe that if you took these six people and put them in another show, even in a comedy, that the kind of chemistry that they've developed over the course of the first, we've now shot six episodes, and then we start the seventh in a day, um, that, that, that they, they'd have every chance of succeeding. It's a really, it's a special group of people, yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. I really